Hello, and welcome to Yandere Tactics for Beginners. Thank you for purchasing this course. Our goal is to teach you the basics of being a Yandere, and show you how to successfully make your darling yours. From choosing your target, to stalking them, to manipulating them, and kidnapping them should they reject your advances. Lesson 1. Choosing your darling. A darling is the term we will use for your object of affection and obsession. You may already have a darling, but do not skip this lesson, as it will provide valuable insight for you. You may wonder how one can choose their darling. As we all know, love is often a spur-of-the-moment thing. No one knows that better than a yandere. However, it's important to consider who you're falling for, and what sort of darling you want. Face it, you're going to be obsessed with whoever you fall in love with, so you might as well fall for someone worthwhile. After all, breakups can be messy. A detailed cleaning guide will be provided later on in the course. Most importantly, your darling should be someone you could see yourself spending the rest of eternity with. But there are several other factors to consider. As a beginner yandere, your chosen darling should be vulnerable. Whether that's emotionally or physically depends on what kind of yandere you are. It doesn't matter how strong your darling is if they can be easily emotionally manipulated. And similarly, it doesn't matter how stubborn they are if they're physically weaker and can be easily kidnapped by you. Another trait your darling should have is loneliness. Someone who's isolated is less likely to have a support network that will notice your intentions. With a bit of persistence, you may be able to find a darling who relies on you completely, the most favorable outcome. However, it is important to verify. While a sullen and withdrawn person may be easy to spot from a distance, their appearance doesn't tell the whole story. A quick perusal of their social media pages will help determine if they are as isolated as they seem. See this person, for example. They look rather withdrawn in person. However, online they have several thousand followers, and their disappearance will be noticed. This person is not a good choice to be your darling. There are several types of people that are not recommended for beginner yandere's, such as popular community figures, your boss or manager, politicians, and at the top of the list, celebrities. Kidnapping your favorite celebrity may seem tempting, but that idea is better left to the realms of fantasy. Celebrities typically have security with them at all times, making it hard to get close. That's not to mention their legions of fans. Even if you found a way to become their partner legitimately, you'd still face a hostile crowd, and, potentially, another yandere looking to take your place. Going after someone with multiple admirers is usually very difficult, and a celebrity is exponentially so. They are best avoided. If you have, however, chosen a celebrity or public figure as your darling, please check out our course, Extreme Yandere Tactics, as it will be much more applicable to your situation. Another type you should also avoid is yandere's. Some yandere's fall in love with other yandere's. However, this isn't recommended. Although there are rare occasions where two yandere's will fall for each other, typically the yandere you fall for will only have eyes for their darling. While your darling being in love with someone else can be dealt with, when it comes to another yandere, if you kill their darling, they will kill you. As such, falling for a fellow yandere is best avoided. It may be difficult to hold yourself back from falling in love with a more advanced darling, but hopefully you've gained the knowledge to help you consider your options. This concludes Lesson 1. Please continue to Lesson 2. Stalking. The countdown is on, folks. January 14th. I'm free. I'm free.